it's different to do interviews via Skype. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so first of all, we are Damnation Vault and we uh, we dedicate all of our interviews to our veterans because without them, you know, we wouldn't have the freedom to listen to music to do interviews. So we just want to give our love to our vets right now. So. <laughs> Um, so actually in my interview with Bobby Shabinsky uh, last week, he told me that you write all of your own music. Yeah, I do, okay. I, I do everything like the, um, the drums, the guitar, the bass, lyrics, instrumentation, everything. Nice. Okay. But it's, it's so inspiring. It, it really is. It's inspiring. And I, like, we're all about mental health here, too, at Damnation Falls. Um, and bear with me. It's, it, gosh, I don't even, like, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm literally coming out of an addiction haze. So my interviews may, yeah, I, bear with me. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> so, if, like, this, these are my first few interviews coming out, you know, without prescription drugs, I guess you could say. And yeah. So, I totally get it. I'm, I'm working on getting my interview flow back. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. I totally understand. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, it's really inspiring that, you know, that there are so many artists emerging. I mean, you have to have so much passion and to write the lyrics that you do, like with Lost Control. Like, would like what is an experience that you know really? That ah, how do I even? Ah, I'm trying to figure out how to ask this. Um, but like, if you would, would want to share, like, what was the <laughs> the story behind Lost Control. Yeah, um, I love to cut. Uh, it's it's good you mentioned to like like mental health and everything because that song was pretty much like inspired by, um, well, pretty much I wrote that uh, during the pandemic. You know, everything's crazy during the pandemic, you know, what's happening. Um, and I, I guess the experience of like me writing Lost Control is like, how in your head, um, you know, you can, everything's, you know, going, like, it's okay, it's not bad, but inside you feel like everything's just not going in, in control. In, inside. Right. So, um, so I pretty much um, just talked about my experience with what's, like, just trying to, I, I guess, the sense of losing control in, in mentally. Um, and I guess it, what inspired me to write that was actually like, um, I guess after a few therapy sessions, <laughs> um, definitely inspire that, um, you know, just trying to write about how, um, it, you know, you could just get lost in your head. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> yeah. And like with also, you know, music is it is a therapy and what are what is another song that you wrote that you know has deep meaning and you know that helped you through something uh i mean i feel like all my songs pretty much uh kind of helped me through whatever i was going through at the moment but right just just writing writing things out has helped me a lot um, just expressing myself and, and um, how I feel and, you know, my emotions and just getting it out in a really positive way. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that, that is the thing that helps depression is writing, that is for sure. <laughs> yeah. um, it, I was watching some of your music, like, the, because I, I found out about you on the Space Zebra Starving Artist show, and you were, you were, when you were on there, like, you were singing your songs, it was like, in 
with just a keyboard and a microphone. And when I went to, you know, hear more, I was just, I was blown away because it's so drastic. It's, it's <laughs> freaking heavy. It's fucking heavy. <laughs> like, and uh, like your song, A Battle Between Two Lesser Evils, it features um, somebody by John Price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that that was um, my first song um, that I released uh, solo. Um, and um, yeah, with, with like Starving Artists, I, I did everything like acoustically. I like stripped it down um, and I, I just felt like, you know, I, later on eventually I would like to you know show everybody with like a band and everything show the heaviness <laughs> for it but you know I just wanted to strip it down you know it was early in the morning <laughs> it was like 12 well 12 p.m eastern standard time 9 30 um pacific so um I was like let me strip it down and get into the nitty gritty of it <laughs> yeah it sound it sounded beautiful okay. and I love the cover of numb that you did too that was pretty cool that <laughs> you gosh your voice is amazing oh, like, you. and you are you're also a music teacher as well yes so I teach I teach music too so I I'm a music teacher and then I do I write my music and everything on the side I mean full-time uh, you could say musician <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah what uh what was it that inspired you to start creating music um a lot of things <laughs> i mean i i just just the the beauty of music and how it's like a different language in itself and how beautiful it is and how um you can use that as a way to like express yourself um and it, everyone's connected with it you know like you you get to connect with other people through music um, and I think that's the beauty of it too, um, with like, like Space Zebra, you know, like how we're all connected musically, you know, we're listening to different artists and dif different, um, um, you know, styles of music and everyone's so excited and happy and, and, and it's just cause of the music itself. And it's so great. Like, I just love music because of that. And I guess, um, what inspired me like to do music is just that is just like how, you know, I can, um, have make friends with music and I can create you know and I can be myself and um and I guess life inspired me <laughs> um I just love it yeah um when you uh, when you first decided you wanted to you know do music and start singing and everything who were those artists or bands who were that you would uh, you know would sing the songs over and over again to learn and you know um this might be weird okay so the first it was like the band panic at the disco when they released their first album so good i love <laughs> yes i love <laughs> that album and that inspired me you could say um made me sing and the lyrics are dope um, I liked uh, like Evanescence, My Chemical Romance, all the emo bands. <laughs> what else? <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of your videos of your reaction videos. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I just started doing that like a year or uh, and a half ago, and uh, it's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, do you have any questions, Angie? How did you hear about Space Zebra? Like, how did you hear about them so that you and end up submitting to them? Well, before they did uh, Space Zebra, it was um, Blackcraft Gaming. Yeah. So it was, uh, so they were, um, it was like in, when the start of the pandemic and um, they were just, um, I guess doing gaming they were just playing video games on twitch playing call of duty and i remember that they um i guess they were listening to unsigned artists during that time and so i was like oh let me i guess submit my music and then i submitted uh one of my songs and they loved it they were like oh my god who are you <laughs> like this is awesome and um 
and I guess ever since then, um, I guess they were looking to sponsor an artist. Um, and I was their first sponsored artist, well, Black Crafts, first sponsored artist. And um, yeah, and then ever since then, um, and then they started growing and then they became Space Zebra and then now DW Presents. And it's just been awesome, their growth um, of their channel, the Twitch channel. Well, yeah, it's awesome that you've been there to watch that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how things just kind of like um, went from this small little thing to like this big, you know, production with a big budget. <laughs> it's, great. it's a it's a cool show too. It is so entertaining. I just it can't, is. I can't stop watching it. <laughs> it's, it's interactive, also. It is. The community like, that's come out yeah. of it is awesome as well. Yep, yeah. I was gonna say that the community is so great. Like everyone's so awesome, supportive, and I, it's like I made friends with everyone there. It's so good. I loved it. I love I love everyone there, and um, it's just been great. I love it. Yeah, we we can't wait to watch the show like after this. Yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I uh, they have a show tonight, so. Yeah. It's just been great. It's, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, the battle of the battle for the big stage. Like the, there have been some really good bands that have been featured on there. Yeah. Like there both has. Act Serious and Divide of Truth. I know and and they're gonna perform live again tonight, right? Today's a final. Yeah, yeah. Event. It comes down to those two. <laughs> oh, that's it's so nerve wracking. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking. Um I submitted for the the first one when it was Road to LA. That was so nerve wracking. <laughs> I imagine. It was very nerve wracking. Um, Would well, you ever do it again for Battle for the Big Stage? Uh, well, I've been asked you should do it again. I, I've I've been thinking about it, but I mean, for now, I I feel like other things are happening um, that I need to um, see what happens with that, and then then I can probably submit again. Um, because if, if I submit, then it might um, mess up a couple of things. But I would like to. But I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nerve wracking. <laughs> but it, I, it's just it's just been great just to listen to other bands and and yeah, like, see right. Discover new band. artists. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. I've seen so many dope bands. I have them on Spotify now. And <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it is. And the I was gonna ask, um, like, what uh, are you going to be releasing any more songs soon? Any yeah. new? Okay. I'm, so I'm currently working on. Um, I'm well. Th what I want to do is um, release an EP. So I'm thinking of releasing it maybe before the end of this year. So I've been working hard on that. I. I'm planning on going to the studio in August, so it's, I'm like doing all these plannings <laughs> for the for the fall. So yes, I'm I'm planning on releasing more music and all that good stuff. Awesome! I saw that you collabed with Le Jesus. Yes! Oh my God! I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. I'm so. Yeah. Excited. What? Yeah. What? What all can you tell us about that? It's 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 awesome. It was it's so um. It's so awesome collaborating with him, and um, it's it, it's such a sick song, and um, he's talented too. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I I wanted just to for you guys to hear it now, but um, I loved it. I lo I I I hope you guys like it too. And it was so fun just collaborating with him. Yeah, the Jesus is another band that was featured on Battle for the Big Stage, sure. and they like. For everybody who's watching this, like they they have some energy behind them. Yes, yes. Yes. So and I love I love it. Um, you know, with your song "Lost Control," you have like such a harsh scream. I like who? Uh, okay, as as a fan, I have to ask like who are the artists that really inspired you to start screaming? Because I. Sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a good question. I mean, I, I, I guess like I've I've always been listening to music that has like screaming, um, and I guess I, for me this whole screaming thing is still new to me. It's like maybe two, 
no, three years of me doing it. Um, I mean, I don't know who, like, will say inspire me um, to scream. I would say just, like, I guess listen to just metal and heavy music just kind of inspired me to just scream. Like, <laughs> nice. yeah. like, yeah. I, like to me, I hear some like kind of a behemoth vibe to it, like with your vocals. That's what I heard. I'm like, oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Yeah. Oh, do you have any? more questions can't think of anything <laughs> well yeah i am i uh, yeah i was, <laughs> yeah life is an interesting journey and i'll just say without music i would not yeah these interviews are helping me you know come out of that darkness too and that's it you know that's why we want to keep doing these interviews because they they help us you know mentally too and no. to find out about you know artists that you may have never heard of before yeah. like it's it it's a, it's amazing yeah we we love the space zebra show danny wimmer presents <laughs> yes it's so it's so awesome and i mean this whole um like you said is helping like mentally um you know we've all been stuck at home for a good year right <laughs> and yeah then, so it's like great to like actually communicate with other people. I know, people. right? Because <laughs> I, I, me, I'm, I'm an introvert. I don't, which is weird because you might think I'm not just because of <laughs> musically I like go crazy. But I'm an introvert. I'm like uh, I rather stay home kind of thing. Um, yeah. But, no, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> like I rather just stay home, pet my cats, um, not go out. Um, but it's just been nice to like. Um, you know, just talk to everyone, talk to you, yeah. um, both, you know, and just like, you know, I haven't, <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked to people in a while, so it's great, it's great. I know, <laughs> this, is, this is like the most human interaction that I've had in a long time, I mean, granted it's virtually, but. <laughs> but right, right, exactly. It's the same thing. I know. With the but speech. it's cool how we can connect virtually. Yeah, yeah. it is. And, and it's so, it's so cool the concerts are coming back too, festivals. Right. Yes, yeah. I'm so excited for that. I know um uh uh Danny Wimmer has a few festivals and the incarnation, right? Yeah, and then Louder Than Life, which I'm going to both of them. Nice. Um so I don't know if you guys are considering Oh well. everyone at Damnation Vault won tickets to oh, Aftershock. <laughs> Aftershock. Let's go. <laughs> That's I know, awesome. Limp Bizkit. Yeah. They, thanks to Rainbow Llama Corn, uh, I'm a Limp Bizkit fan. <laughs> Yay! Oh, good. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> they're so good live. I I saw them live years ago, way before um, everything, and so, so kick-ass. <laughs> I yeah, I've, I've, I've seen them live, so I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I've only seen, you know, the live videos that I've seen, and of a uh, Wes going into the crowd playing guitar that's that's cool and the crowd was so cool about it too I know yeah <laughs> and then Wes like he has like he wears makeup and right. yeah yeah oh yeah yeah he's amazing yeah I'm excited for that that's awesome. Metallica <laughs> yeah so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, those are all of my questions. Um, so thank you so much for doing this interview. I know it's been kind of a, <laughs> but you know, a mental health awareness. <laughs> mental health awareness. That's totally fine. I, I said with like my music and stuff, like I also deal with like mental health and I think yeah. um, mental health is super important and like, um, I just, I feel like it's not talked about a lot, you know? It's not. And it's, it's, not. it's it sucks. I feel like it needs to be talked about a lot more. And, um, you know, people, it, it, it really sucks <laughs> when you're like yeah. stuck in your head and 
and no one can tell you know you can be happy and or like look happy but inside you know it cannot you you might not be healthy so um it's right. something that needs to be talked about so that's awesome that you guys are right. keeping you know spreading the the good news <laughs> about Thank you. yeah and it, it's a it's amazing you know just with you know creating art any kind of art music is art to yes you know, yeah. to help with it because yeah. it, it's a satisfying feeling and it's it builds your confidence too absolutely yes 100 yeah. percent. yeah well thank you so much again for thank doing you. this interview so okay. we we really appreciate it and we're excited to hear more of your new music of course anytime yes. thank you so much for having me yeah. all right yes. well you have a great night and we'll see you in the space zebra chat <laughs> twitch.tv slash dw presents <laughs> yes we'll do we'll do <laughs> all right bye bye, bye. <laughs>